So tonight is a first for two reasons. The first is uh, I've never actually done a show or concert after writing a book. <laughs> That's the first. The second is I've never started a concert playing a song Frolic before. <laughs> now, Frolic <clears throat> was uh, a song I learned at my third guitar lesson when I was 12 years old. And uh, I was taking lessons with this guy, Walter Burns, in this little green shack behind Mel Bay uh, on Jefferson Street in Kirkwood. And uh, I couldn't understand a word he said. He was an older guy, and he just kind of went like this. And he's like, frolic, okay, next week. And, um, and uh, I started out learning the basics, one string at a time, one note at a time. Then a couple weeks on the first string, and then the second string came, and I had to blend the two. And I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't figure out how to coordinate the page and the notes and the strings. I was so frustrated, I literally started crying. I was in the dining room of our old house, and uh, I just, I said, I quit! I quit! And my mom, she's like, oh my god, he is going to quit. And my brother, Ted Rubright, who's sitting in the room tonight, was actually watching TV in the, the room uh, next to us, in the living room. And she came over and said, Teddy, Teddy, you have to help him. You have to help him figure this out, or he's going to quit. <laughs> my brother comes over, and he, he listens, and he goes, oh, yeah, I see you're putting that there. You need to do that. And I figured it out, thanks to Ted. So I don't remember that. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I do. It's absolutely happened. So this was the first experience in my life um, of having a huge dilemma as a musician. And if not for Ted, I might not have gotten through it. So since then, my life has been filled with lots of dilemmas. Thus, the name of my book, The Musician's Dilemma. A guide for integrating your passion for music with real life. Uh, read the book. <laughs> yeah, 20 bucks. <laughs> You'll know everything then. Really. The answers are all there. But something else happened when I was 12. And uh, this is going to sound random because it's not about music, but a good friend of mine, David Williams, and we used to always go up to Kirkwood Park and just explore and do wild, crazy stuff. Well, one time we went beyond Kirkwood Park and we're playing out in Sugar Creek. And it was like a hot sunny September day and the creek was sort of dry but it was still kind of moist under the rocks and we were looking for like crawdads but then we pulled a couple rocks up and we found a salamander this beautiful black salamander with these little white speckles and it was so incredible we were like oh my god that is so beautiful and so we're like let's do some more of this so we got lost in this for like hours and we just would sit there and pull up all these rocks to see if we could find one and every you know 10, 20, 30 rocks, we find one and be like, yes, we found it. What I didn't know then was that that really is the core of composing music. That's what composing music is, noodling around forever until you find one, an idea that you like and you go, yeah, that's it. Um, so I discovered two things when I was 12, the dilemma and also passion. And um, I fell in love with guitar and started playing around with guitar and started making up my own music, even back then. It was something I loved to do. And so we're going to start with a tune that I wrote, um, not back then, more recently, called, <laughs> called Catterskill Falls. <laughs> 